Is that? We just learned that Gennady left the contact yes. and are able. You, you just found out. Chris right? Mannix told me just when I finished that interview. Yeah. What did you think when he told you? I was quite surprised. I mean, was he in New York with you? Uh, no, no, he wasn't no. at the press either. No. He yeah. just made an IG post about it and said it's a personal decision and a career-wise decision. I saw, I saw Abel's quotes from Chris Mannix. Oh, said it was about money. Lady? Yeah, I think so. It was about what? Money? Money. Money between who? Between? Abel and Gennady. That's what, oh, wow. That's what Abel said, apparently. I'll let it slide. Oh, okay. I don't I like to give Tom still with, with Gennady. Yeah, he's involved. 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 Yeah, I mean, look, when we had the, you know, we had we had meetings, me and John Skipper with Gennady and his team and Tom and, you know, he, Tom's, mm -hmm. Tom's definitely involved. I mean, you saw him at the yeah. presser, you know, yeah. doing his thing. But Gennady's definitely steering the ship. Um, I don't know what's happened with him and Abel. You know, it's a strange time to change trainers. But... You know, if he feels like he's going to be better, also, it doesn't sound like it was a technical thing or it was a improvement thing. It was obviously just a dispute about something, maybe a deal or something like that. Eddie leaving a trainer at 37 years old. Yeah, it's not. But you know, I said earlier in that interview is <clears throat> just because you're 37 and just because you've only got five or six fights left doesn't mean you can't stop trying to improve or be the best. So if you feel like you can improve with another trainer. I've seen so many fighters in the past stay with a trainer for that exact reason. Yeah, but you know, he's been good. So I've, I'm at the end now, I've only got, I'll just stay. Where really, you know, who knows what a new trainer could have could have brought to their career. So, um, it surprised me though, because I thought those two were ultra tight. You know? Who could be his trainer? Good question. There's a lot of good trainers in America. There's a lot. There's a lot of understated trainers. I mean, there's there's a trainer called Shadid Saluki. Most of you may not have even heard of him, but he trains Anthony Sims Jr. He trains Mike Perez. He tra trained Lamont Brewster. Um, you know, he's, he's like there's a lot of guys that don't like the limelight that you don't really get to know about because they're not putting themselves out there. Um, like a Buddy McGirt or something. Yeah, Buddy McGirt is a good trainer. Um, you know. The, the Danny Jacobs trains a great trainer. Uh, John David Jackson, Freddie Roach. You know, there's loads of guys. But um, it's, it's a preference thing, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's going to want to stay in LA, I think, with his family set up. So. Abel seemed to be a big kind of mouthpiece, almost a promoter as well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like that might have some effect as well on, on Triple G as well, would you think? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, they're all questions for Triple G. We can only speculate. I wouldn't like to say something that would upset someone, especially not Gennady, because I like him a lot. No, but he's, you know, he's he's a very classy guy, so it's his business, and it's just, I don't know, sad, really, because they were a great team.